players can learn about the toxic gases that <laughs> In my country, corruption is on literally every level. So it's almost like an octopus that's everywhere. You know, the worst thing about corruption, my grandmother thinks it's okay. The worst thing about corruption is it's just become part of our society. What artistic activism is really good at is it's not just about changing the culture of corruption, it's about changing the culture around corruption really want to change the world, this isn't just about putting stuff out there, it's about putting stuff out there that actually works. I am an illustrator and a graphic designer, but I've been very active in the recent years in the nature protection activism in Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, due to, unfortunately, many things that have been happening to our rivers, mountains and generally nature in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Je suis auteur, j'écris et je suis en même temps critique. J'enseigne aussi dans les universités au Sénégal. Le Sénégal est un pays situé en Afrique de l'Ouest. Donc c'est un, un pays, c'est un pays en démocratie. Euh, il y a la pratique de la corruption parce qu'il y a beaucoup de corrupteurs euh, et beaucoup de corrompus euh, donc. I come from North Macedonia. I live in Kumanova and Skopje as well. I'm a psychologist and theater director. So I often mix my both profession in my work. Well, my biggest concern in terms of corruption is extortion. It means the sexual harassment that happens to women in their workplaces. I think it's happening in Macedonia, I think it's happening on Balkans, and uh, not many women talk about that. I do a lot of types of activism. I do cyberactivism, that means to amplifier the voice of the sans on the internet. I do also the activism artistic in the case of the fight against the corruption. I say that when you are in a country where you have given everything, you are still the citizens of this country. So, in my opinion, without engaging, it's like if I had betrayed my convictions initial. You know that I am an activist, zyrtarisht me diplom jam regjizore. Unë them që jam aktiviste gjatë gjithë kohë, sepse mua më bezdisin shumë gjëra, për mënyrën se si shkojnë gjërat këtu. I come from Accra, Ghana. I like to describe myself as a creative director and more or less an experienced designer. My main focus is on filmmaking and also gamification, virtual and augmented reality. I am a journalist. Uh, I work for a small news media called Moi Beche or My Beche. Due to poor standards, I mean political and economical standards, people are going away because I think that they had enough of everything about uh, corrupted governments on every level of our life here in Serbia. Regional uh, Creative Hubs, the initiative that is focused on anti-corruption, that connects two distinct regions, the Western Balkan and West Africa, contribute to the efforts uh, anti-corruption work to have real results. This intervention in the society that combines um, not only the knowledge, but combines the knowledge with the emotions is critical for people to stop and think and ask what else I can do about this. The Center for Artistic Activism is a nonprofit organization and we've been around for about 12 years and what we do is we help people to use their creativity and culture to affect power. And we do that work through training, mentoring and research around what makes for effective, impactful advocacy work. So we were really happy when Slavica and Hawa came to us and talked about doing something, an even bigger vision. 
we thought that by connecting these two dots, like the civil society, the activists on one side, and the artists at the other side, um, we'll find a meeting point that will be more beneficial and more impactful in our engagement against corruption. And we thought that um, it would be good to popularize, to use that methodology with our different constituencies to engage in an innovative work on corruption. We went and um, worked with a group of almost 20 per region in the West Balkans and West Africa and did artistic activism training. We walked them through the history of artistic activism, why it works, some of the theory behind it, and lots of examples of how to do it, as well as a methodology that we've been working on for years. Osiwa avait lancé un appel à recrutement de jeunes journalistes et d'activistes. C'était en 2000, fin 2019. Donc, on, nous avons suivi euh, les sessions de formation, comment organiser une lutte artistique contre la corruption. L'île de Gorée, on a compris comment mener une action artistique. On devait implémenter les mêmes initiatives dans nos pays respectifs. Ishtë hapur një thirje, Creative Hubs, dhe kërkonin artist të zhanërve të ndryshme, fillon të me një trajnim në Sarajev, trajnim një avorm. Përmbajtja e trajnimit përfshin të korupcionin, që ishte kërëfjala, si mënyra dhe strategi kreative për ta ndërgjësuar publiku, për një kosisht edhe për të quar ata në veprim, nëse do ishte e mundur. Et euh, j'ai postulé, j'ai postulé parce que je me disais, mais tiens, c'est quand même quelque chose d'intéressant. Parce qu'en tant qu'artiste, je, je suis un peu dans ces, dans ces démarches de dénonciation, mais ce que j'appelle une dénonciation intelligente. Donc on a fait l'atelier à Gorée et après on nous a demandé de, de proposer des projets. This action of ideas kind of more or less gives you uh, different tools and how you can use them and how we could incorporate it into our own you know, way of life. So the original plan was to do a set of trainings in the Balkans and in West Africa, and we would teach practitioners there that were already you know, doing this work and give them some of the support and mentoring and training and the theory of them how to teach it. And it was a three-year commitment. And so we did multiple trainings, um, and then they started doing trainings with other participants. That has resulted in this amazing group of people who are artists and activists and investigative journalists who have taken on the work of artistic activism and made it their own. You know, they've taken our curriculum and they've transformed it, they've put their own personality into it, they've used their own culture, and they've done wonderful things, and also having an impact on corruption, which is exciting. For me, a few young students on what is the fight artistic, on the consequences of corruption, but also and surtout how to fight against corruption in engaging. That was during the first phase of the project. Now, in what concerns the second phase, it is now to expand the field of implementation of the project. Donc c'est en ce moment qu'on a déployé le projet, s'engager dans trois localités. L'objectif c'était d'aller écouter les jeunes, voir, étudier un peu, mesurer, si je peux me permettre, l'engagement qu'ils ont par rapport à la lutte artistique contre la corruption. Passer à Yévis, de jeunes applicants qui morent en pièce, qui sont de droit pour te marier une grande vogue, pour te faire une action de vogue dans la ville de Kubanon. Bëra një video për problemet që pati universitetin atë ko, me zgjedhjet. On en a fait un premier avec tous les participants du Sénégal qui s'appelait Ndakh Leona. On voulait toucher un peu la sensibilité des gens pour leur dire mais est-ce que vous savez que l'argent de la corruption que vous, que vous consommez c'est illicite, c'est euh, interdit par l'islam Vous vous dites croyant, vous priez cinq fois par jour, etc. etc. Et en même temps, vous pratiquez la corruption. Est-ce que vous savez que ce n'est pas, pas deux choses qui peuvent aller ensemble Le premier projet était sur le sexual harassment à l'université. Et ils face la corruption, pas seulement des femmes mais aussi des femmes. Donc, je savais que personne ne savait vraiment 
talks about it, nobody does researches. Uh, so I thought it could be really good if someone starts with that. We decided from the beginning, I think, that we should have smaller actions because uh, some people needed some trial actions and didn't have experience in street actions and artistic actions. We've seen the hashtag Me Too, hashtag led by donkeys to, you know, carry a message across and finally make people to hear that message. So with uh, one of the projects that we worked on, which was hashtag make we talk the matter to speak on corruption. And we're looking at corruption in various spheres, how the government wasn't being accountable on, some, on most projects. And that was also a learning experience for me because I told, you, I told you initially we just wanted to speak about stuff. And when we look at beyond raising awareness, we realized that we wanted people to also become, um, become change agents. We wanted people to take this personally and we wanted them to speak about it, like to talk about it. So we used a hashtag and it was on social media, it was just going and going and going and going. It took the country by storm. U hap pratirja e, e dytë, e cila kërkonte që ti ishte një aksion tjetër, pak më i madhë se sa i pari, një kosisht duaj pa tjetër që të trajnonin aktivistë të rinjë. Trajnimi imi ishte pak specifik sepse unë duaj të, të fusja dhe teatrin. Aty ku unë dalova, dalova më shumë unë ishte teatri të shtypërve, është një teatr i cili kërkon që publiku nga spekt aktor të kthejt në spekt aktor për të marri pjesë, të bëhet pjesë e shfaqes. Ne duhet shkojmë aty ku teatri është më i nevojshëm, aty ku do të akryem vetë publikun. Pra aty ishte ditë e shtun, ditë tregu, pazari ishte plotë, njërëzit ndalonin blinin dhe hop, shfaqen ca njërës me një banderol të madhe që shkruajnë teatri edhe fillojmë dhe inskenojmë edhe interpretojmë. Sigurisht tema ishte korupcionit. Na flisë të neve, pëse së ndodhë kështu? Po ja, mua më ndodhë kështu. Dhe gjatë kësaj kohë e ti merë shumë dëshmi. Të gjithë njërëzve cilët sigurisht janë ndeshur me korupcionit, po janë dëshmi, dëshmi autentike. Un dëzim apel, u në dëmande dhe prezente dhe projekte individuelle. Et c'est là où j'ai fait le, le projet dont il est question, euh, qui s'est déroulé à Ningler. Ningler, c'est un, un, euh, un village paysan qui est dans la région de Bourg, à une centaine de kilomètres d'ici, et qui est en train de vivre justement ce que j'ai dénoncé tout à l'heure sur la grande corruption. C'est comment est-ce qu'une administration arrive en, par des abus de pouvoir à déposséder des paysans de leur terre. C'est que des, par, par des pratiques corruptives. Nous avons formé ces gens sur ce que c'est que la lutte artistique, comment euh, implémenter ça pour autant s'exposer davantage, parce que lorsqu'on aussi parle d'activisme, ce n'est pas forcément mettre sa vie en danger, mais c'est d'aller avec une, une méthodologie qui va vous permettre d'être performant, mais aussi et surtout atteindre des objectifs. Il devait organiser des sessions publiques pratiques pour faire pour montrer aux autres ce qu'ils ont appris, mais c'est en utilisant beaucoup plus le théâtre, le slam et la poésie. Donc c'était pour eux la première fois d'entendre, de parler d'une lutte artistique en utilisant leur art. I wanted to tackle the area of corruption that I wasn't tackling before. Some of the first was uh, fishing. Uh, in polluted water. The second one was skiing and practicing bob on the local land field uh, with all the garbage around us and bad smells. So we had an action in a forest related to pollution uh, and air pollution actually. She was riding a bicycle with a, ma with, with a mask on her face. She was acting quite normal, so we wanted to send that, uh, the message that this is going to be something normal, a new normality, if I can say that. Our local government destroyed a small wood near our river Tisa, so we organized a funeral for our little wood. 
nobody cuts trees because they hate trees. It's usually because they gain a lot of money because of it. I worked with a hiking society and this was their first activist action as such. During these hikes, they would encounter parts of the woods that are completely bare. So somebody would come and cut it to the ground. So our initial plan was basically to do to photograph these places and to make like an exhibition in the city center to bring this issue basically in the city center. Uh, and then uh, some of the participants of the action uh, were um, approached by these people and they were told that it's better not to touch it. They were ready to give up completely on the action, any kind of action. We approached these local businesses and asked them uh, to donate funds to plant trees on these areas. So in a way they were admitting that the problem is there and they were contributing to the solution. And we planted over 300 trees in these areas. On the border with Croatia, all these beautiful rivers in these fields are full of trash. So we organized a canoe race. The point was that you need to uh, pick up as many bottles as possible. In the end, we collected uh, like 30 bags of trash. A different approach to a cleaning, typical cleaning action that you can see. We are fortunate enough to live very close to very wild nature. And my hope is that we will realize that this is really something that's unique. We as citizens have a responsibility of protecting these areas. So in our final and big performance, we invited people to cut the net of corruption. When you are in that net, you have to struggle to go out, so to release yourself from uh, that uh, environment. I think that the action was very successful. 50 people took the scissors and cut the, the network. Many people, passerby, were eager to know more about us, more about our actions. They showed us that they want to participate and be part of our group. I saw from action to action that creativity and, th and enthusiasm was increasing. We made online survey. And after that, we went to some of the institutions where we knew that there was corruption. So we made interviews with women. And uh, in the meantime, some of the girls or women called to talk about their experiences. So we just collected more than 500 stories. At first it was, oh my God, does this really happen a lot? And uh, after that, okay, what are we going to choose now? We took uh, just parts of some of the stories and published it and made it online. Uh, we chose the stories that we felt connected to and we chose the ones that they have like a really huge drama accent inside. The people that saw the performance, a lot of them uh, talked with us about what, what was happening to them and how they're having problems with the institutions like I was uh, talking today. Probably we made some change, but I just expected much more attention from the media and from the institutions. Uh, because if you know that it's happening a lot, then you, can, you must react about that. I won't be satisfied till I see the changes. La question de Ningaler m'interpelle parce que toute la presse en parle et moi en tant que Sénégalais ça me touche, en tant que Polar en plus c'est un village serère, moi qui suis Peul, je l'ai dit ça me touche et je voudrais voir comment je peux aborder la question. Donc on a utilisé le conte, un conte qu'on a co-écrit avec les enfants et un conte qui dénonce la corruption. C'est un conte qui sous forme de fiction reprend le drame qui s'est passé dans notre propre village. Malgré que ce soit un drame qui concerne toute la population, tous les villageois, les enfants et les femmes étaient exclus du, du débat. C'est là où le conte est intelligent parce que qui dit conte dit enfant. Et ils étaient un groupe de travail et chaque groupe devait produire, devait raconter des expériences personnelles qui sont liées à la corruption, soit à l'école, dans le village où ils ont entendu, à la radio, à la télé. On a fait, tout, on a fait toute une série d'ateliers. À la suite de ça, on a regroupé toutes les histoires et j'étais content de voir que dans les différentes histoires, la question de la terre à revenait très souvent. Les enfants avaient en fait peur 
de perdre leur village. Donc, on a réussi à, à écrire un conte qui reprend, qui relate l'histoire, euh, comment est-ce qu'une administration corrompue à, à, est en train de, de, de déposséder carrément une population qui est là depuis, euh, depuis 1900. Une belle représentation parce que le conte a été, a été joué. Les enfants se sont mis dans les habits des personnages du conte. Je suis très content d'avoir fait ça. Tu, tu donnes un message qui est véhiculé, qui passe. C'est ça l'activisme artistique. Et pour toutes les questions aujourd'hui dans ce pays, je pense qu'on peut utiliser ce, cette approche-là pour dénoncer sans avoir besoin d'aller en prison. The air in Zalitsa is literally yellow. An Indian company bought off the factory uh, and they signed a contract with the mayor that they don't have to involve any kind of filters. Uh, but people are also to the point that they don't care about it. Uh, so what we did is that uh, we created this almost alarming noise that we played in the city center every time these pollution levels would go up. So it's almost like an alerting noise and we used, uh, we made a mix like a song uh, combining the marketing messages of the factory like we care so much about the community and we reinvest in the community. It's not that we changed the factory, but we definitely influenced the opinions of the people. Stop the noise! Ajo që unë bëj si aktivizem kreativ është teatri, dhe sigurisht aksioni do ishte një shfaqe teatri. Dhe armiku i popullit shkrua nga Henry Kipsen, e cila është shfaqe që në thelb ka korupcionin. Dhe pra ka shumë shtresa, ka aktivizmin brënda, ka aspektin ligjor, ka aspektin e publikës. Edhe am shfaqen për judhën e zgjedhjeve në Shqipëri. Ipseni nuk e ka pjesën e votimit, por ne futëm votim dhe në fund shfaqës gjithë publiku votonte. A do ishte roni armika po jo, dhe publiku duhet të vendoste këtë. Dhe kjo është, kjo është një feedback i mirë. Kjo më lejë e deklarojë Ronald Qema armik të popullit. Ronald Qema shfalet armik i popullit. E nuk, but what we wanted to achieve is really to empower communities, to give them means against corruption, to know how corruption works and operates, and to use each one of these communities in their own terms, using their own social and cultural channels to tackle corruption and to call leaders to accountability. We have made a connection. Uh, there is a solid knowledge behind that. There is a solid experience. I think with that really achieved to change the current reality. And their projects were so amazing and like actually succeeded at getting responses from corrupt politicians who were ignoring mm -hmm. infrastructure problems and like solving them. And th that's a perfect example of like the creativity as a process yeah. of like working together as a group. It takes a village for this, so I'm grateful for the engagement, for all the trust, all the love, all the respect that is there. This is something that is that you cherish and you take with you wherever you go. <laughs>